So we're going to be taking a closer look at the iCOS of MB version 3.0 tool. It's a multi-function, multi-system service function tool for Mercedes, Smart and Sprinter vehicles. And we're going to be taking a look at everything that you need to know before you buy or 21 questions and answers. Now there are fakes, there are clones on the market, they can damage your vehicle. So if you want to make sure you're getting a genuine and official product, please make sure you use the links in the description below. So this is the protective box. This is a carry pouch. This is the user manual. This is the main unit. This is a cable which connects the main unit to a laptop or PC to carry out the updates. And this is the main cable. One end goes in the top of the tool. The other end goes in the diagnostic port of the vehicle. We now have it plugged into the vehicle. So what exactly is the MB version 3.0? Well, it's a multi-vehicle, multi-system service function scan tool package. So it basically puts the power into your hands and it means that you, know, you can work on your own vehicle without having to take it to the garage, take it to the dealer, which can generally be quite expensive. A lot of the functions that you can do in your own driveway these days can be done with these with this tool instead of having to take it to a garage to get a service light uh, or a warning light knocked off i will come to that in a moment because you can see we've got two warning lights on this vehicle so i'll um, i'll show you that in greater detail very soon so you can buy it as i said earlier just by using the links in the description below this remember there are fakes there are clones they can damage your vehicle so it's really worth making sure that you get the genuine and official product right now the price of this tool is 100 and uh 69 pounds i believe um i, I think it's probably going to be going up to 179 very soon in line with a lot of the other mb uh, sorry the vision 3.0 tools it's just purely the cost of everything rising all around us at the moment but it's uh currently 169 soon to be 179 i would say um, and when it comes to manufacturers covered, it does, it, it is an MB, so it's an M Mercedes Benz base, so it covers Mercedes vehicles, Maybach, smart vehicles, and Sprinter vehicles. And um, so those are the manufacturers that it covers. When it comes to the systems within the vehicle, you can generally assume that it's going to cover every vehicle, uh, sorry, every system within that vehicle. So what I'll show you is, um, I'll, sh I'll show you one way into this, just by using the VIN identity tool. It just quickly reads the VIN number and it gets us straight into where we can start looking at the faults of the vehicle. But before you get to that, you need to get on the control unit section and then it's gonna give you a list of all of the functions um, that it could potentially diagnose in your vehicle so um, you know you might have some of these fun some of these systems may not actually be installed to the vehicle um, so you know these are the types of systems that you'll be able to get access to you've got your engine control module uh, fuel pumps distronic all-wheel drive camera covers drivetrain transmission systems electronic park and brake um, tire pressure mon monitoring systems airbag systems your supplemental restraints I'll just scroll through these. It gives you a little idea of what you can get access to. There's your Parktronic if you've got parking sensors. There we go. So like I say, the um, the list that you see on this this vehicle here may be different for your vehicle. Maybe you've got a C class. This is an L and A class that we've got here. Um, so yeah, it's it's you can assume though that it's gonna the ASP is the um, the ABS system so you can generally assume that it's going to cover all systems within the vehicles uh, and when it comes to special functions or service functions what we'll do is we'll come out of this and we we'll go into the service menu and these are the potential service menu uh, service icons that you can use on your vehicle so it doesn't these icons won't work on all vehicles the best thing to do is uh, use the uh, contact these guys and they will tell you you know include your VIN number and they'll tell you if any of these systems um, or any of these functions aren't suitable for your vehicle or are if you want to if you want to double check say for example that the DPF system would work on your Mercedes C-Class uh, just send them the VIN number your vehicle details and they will check for you but ultimately you know you've got things like oil reset electronic park and brake electronic throttle reset steering angle sensor DPF regeneration ABS brake bleeding injector coding TPMS suspension and a few others along the line as well there but uh, do double check with those ones because um, they will work on some vehicles and not on others. 
Um, so what information does it give when a, a fault code has been found? Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, we've got two faults on this vehicle. We've got a, an airbag light and a, uh, a check engine warning light. So what I'm gonna do is just click on, this time we'll go vehicle select. We'll select the vehicle manually. So it's an A-Class 176 diesel 180 CDI. So okay to that, and then we can get straight into the control unit section whereby it'll allow us to diagnose faults. So we're gonna go straight in for the engine fault. It's got engine control module. Um, this is because of faulty MAF or mass airflow sensor. So you can see we've got two historic faults here all relating to the mass airflow sensor. Um, it's, the new part has been installed, but really what we need to do is just simply click on clear fault memory. Um, and when I do that, just keep an eye on the check engine light. In fact, actually, what you might need to do in this vehicle, some vehicles do require it. Yeah, it's, it's just fail. Uh, what you need to do is just simply turn off the engine, but put the ignition back on. And then you could go back into clear fault and this time it should work, array is operation done. So when we start the engine this time, check engine light should turn off and it has done. So which is good. Right, so we'll stay in the control unit section uh, because what I need to do is, you see the airbag light right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop that down there because we did simulate this fault. So we unclipped the passenger connection underneath the, uh, the passenger seat. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bend over into the section, section here. I'm going to plug this back in. Right, so that is now plugged back in, but obviously you see that the um, I'm going to put my, my seatbelt on just so it clears up that. So you still see that we've got the airbag light showing there and we can go down into the airbag system. which is the SRS, Supplemental Restraint System. Uh, I'll show you the fault code. That's the fault code that we were getting, four faults. Uh, but we can just clear fault memory, and when I do it this time, this time it should just turn off without having to turn the engine off. There we go, airbag light has gone off. And that's characteristic of how the tool will work. If, the, if it's the engine, sometimes you do need to turn the engine off. Um, other systems, not so much, okay? Um, so that's the information. Now, when it comes to live data, um, I have made a separate video on this, actually, but there's lots of different um, types of live data that you can get. So you can get live data from different systems within the vehicle. Um, I think mainly people would probably want live data from the engine system, so there's different kinds of live data that you can get uh, so you can go like DPF data so you've got like suit content of your DPF other values that may be important for you if you're trying to diagnose a fault um, EGR again you got different values here um, and as like I can say, there's lots of different sections within the live data that you can get. So you've got all your temperatures as well, boost pressures, mass airflow, real pressure. So it's good for things like uh, live data. And like I say, you can, if you've got like an automatic transmission, you get live data from your automatic transmission. You get your transmission fluid um, oil temperatures if you're looking to change the oil, things like that. Um, it isn't a touch screen, it's just you do need to use the dome buttons on the side here, which is, um, it's quite good because I find with, with the, uh, the touch screen tool, sometimes you're standing there and you're not knowing if it's registered, but you know that it's always registered because you hear the click when you press the button. So that's what I like about that. Updates for this tool, they are free for life, which is another good feature. Some tools uh, like Autel manufacturer, they will charge you per year. They'll give you the first year's free. Uh, for this, you'll get free updates for life. And how, how do you update it? Well, you just need to plug it into your laptop or your PC, uh, download some software, and then the tool connects to the PC and it will uh, upload update for you. Um, how does it compare to the other tools? There's a version 1.0, a version 2.0, obviously this is the version 3.0. Well, I would say this is definitely the better tool. It's the most expensive out of the three. The version one is generally about 99 pounds. 
The version 2 is about £149. Uh, this, as I say, is 169 soon to be 179 Um yeah, it's this, this it's really comes into its own because this tool covers newer vehicles. The Vision 1 and the Vision 2 kind of struggle when it comes to vehicles up to say like 2017, 2018. This tool at the minute can do depending on the vehicle, it can do maybe sort of up to like 2021, 2022. Um, and also the service menu as well. This has way more service options than the MB Vision 2.0 does. So again, you know it's it just you, you pay more but you get more if that makes sense and if you've got a newer vehicle I would say certainly this is the one to go for like for, there was a situation a few days ago actually where we had a, um, a, a 2012 B class and we needed to diagnose a parking sensor fault uh, we found that the version 2.0 tool didn't cover the parking sensors but the version 3.0 tool does cover the parking sensors on that B class so um, it's just some systems on some vehicles the older tools can't work with the version 3 can though that's what that's why this was created it's a better hardware so they can put better software on it um, help and support just contact uh, the people that you bought it from they'll offer help and support they do have quick links through to the official engineers at iCarsoft uh, you can print faults but it's a bit of a long-winded way of doing it you've got to kind of uh, take the SD you've got to record the data take the SD card out then pop it into your PC or laptop I wouldn't say it's user-friendly but I would say it definitely could be done if you needed to uh, languages we go to the setup I mean what we're talking about here is just basically you know things that you would generally expect on a tool um, may not be that appropriate for you actually so what I'll do is I'll show you um, the list of vehicles that it currently covers um, the updates will add more as and when they come out so this is the list of vehicles that it will cover so we've got one of 68 here so it goes by chassis code so I'm just going to scroll through the different vehicles that it covers and it'll give you a good idea as to whether this will be suitable for your vehicle or not you generally find that it will cover most Mercedes vehicles though okay so those are the Mercedes come out of that and then we'll go to Maybach, it only covers one Maybach 240 then we go to Smart so it covers these Smart vehicles and then finally the Sprinter vehicles So would I recommend this tool if you've never used a tool before? Absolutely 100%. These tools, they're designed for people who, they're designed for home users really, um, who just make, basically want to do sort of quick resets, fault code reading and resets on their own vehicle. Uh, it doesn't go into too great detail. Um, there are a lot more expensive tools that will go sort of way deep into diagnosis and will take you down paths and avenues that you really don't want to be getting into if you don't know what you're doing uh, you can't do that with these tools it just shows you basic information and it's um, but that doesn't mean that's a basic tool it shows you basic information for uh, a wide range of things so I definitely recommend this because you can't damage the tool you can't damage your vehicle and they're an excellent tool for any owner or uh, sorry any owner or enthusiast to have uh, it doesn't double up as a tablet, as I say, it's not a touch screen or anything, and uh, delivery is generally one to two working days, okay? Um, so that is it, guys. Those are the questions and answers. Um, uh, there is a few other icons on the screen as well. Uh, this, say, for example, if you had, like, a different vehicle, like a BMW or an Audi, uh, you can diagnose engine faults with this icon. You can review the data that you've recorded with this one. With this one, you can look at the battery voltage. Uh, minimums and maximums and live data from the current battery status so you can see that's fluctuating quite a lot there which is which is normal um, do live data uh, DTC lookup so you can put codes in see what they mean um, about the tool just gives you like software and version information 
things like that and help just gives you basic information about what is OBD2, the modes and just explains a little bit of a diagnostics to you there in the tool itself. So, like I say guys, remember if you are interested, use the link in the description below this video because there are fakes, there are clones, they can damage your vehicle and it's not worth going down that route, okay? Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.